what is up guys before we begin with the tutorial i just want to tell you that i have a giveaway that you can enter in order to win eight courses it's explained in this video that you currently see here link for this video is in the description below make sure you check it up so that you can see how you can enter for the competition and uh, good luck maybe you will win eight of my courses and uh, also enjoy the tutorial take care what is up guys Fahi here from awesometudes.com and we are back with more tutorials and you know what is you know what is gonna come when I create my tutorials I'm, I need to promote something so here you have the Indiegogo campaign for the best online course upcoming online course we have a month left it is just gonna be epic go and back it up probably well Probably, not probably, but for sure you're gonna back up also these tutorials that I'm creating for you guys, which are the most comprehensive but yet beginners friendly and free to watch on YouTube. I really don't think that there is anybody out there that puts out this type of content, creating practical projects, giving tips and advice as I do. Now, this is not like bragging, but I really mean so. So anyways, uh, moving forward, what we are going to do is that we are going to position our camera and make it follow this crazy pumpkin here. So let me take the camera here in the hierarchy, select the camera. Let me see where I want to position it. Currently, it's a negative 2.65 for the x-axis. Let me just put it 2.5. Let's see if it's in the middle. Negative 1, it's on the z. Let me just put it a little bit up and yeah this can do we can later on or later on we can simply change this let me just go and put it a little bit up more and for the x-axis on the rotation let's say we set it at 10 this is only for the moment probably we will change it later on because now we're gonna go inside of our scripts and right click and I'm gonna create a new folder camera script because the camera needs to follow the player right click and create a new C sharp script camera follow select the camera so the main camera and drag and drop the script and instead of dragging and dropping I click to go outside of the folder so I'm gonna drag and drop it here double tap on it and here is our script we do need a reference to the pumpkins transform and a reference to the pumpkin class so here I'm gonna say private transform which is the pumpkin transform and we also need a private pumpkin script so pumpkin script and I'm gonna say pumpkin script and instead of pumpkin transform I'm simply gonna say pumpkin pos so short for position and we're gonna have two public, so public floats. One is gonna be the Z distance, which is by default equal to, let's say seven. And we are also gonna have a public float Y distance, which is by equal, which is by equal, by default equal to four F. So inside of the awake function, you know that it's my preference, so awake, but I did not tag the class, nor did I give a little bit of space here, which I always do. So moving forward here, we have the awake. Inside of the awake, I'm gonna get me the reference to the transform of the pumpkin. So I'm gonna say pumpkin position is equal to game object dot find and inside of it we need to pass well the game object to find and inside of these parentheses or quote marks because we need to type the name of this game object now one thing that i like to do in these cases is that i like to create here a private string pumpkin underscore obj is equal to pumpkin this is the name of our object in the scene so pumpkin if we go inside of the scene this is that pumpkin object because now I can simply take the pumpkin obj and put it right here and we also need to say that transform because we want to get the transform from it now if you're wondering why is this good well in this particular case we can also go here and instead of pumpkin obj we can type pumpkin this will work of course but let's say we want to get the pumpkin in multiple scripts maybe we want to get it on more ways maybe on 10 different 10 different places in our code we need to get ourselves a reference to the pumpkin obj every single time if we type pumpkin like this with a string so if we type pumpkin like this 
it can lead to problems in terms of maybe from 20 places where you wrote this code somewhere instead of pumpkin so k-i-e k-i-n 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 you type pum k-n without i in the middle so then you will not see where is your problem you will not be sure so on and so forth instead of typing it like that simply create one variable name it pumpkin here give it the value pumpkin and use that variable if you see a problem and you don't get the game object that you want then simply go and change that right here only on a single place which will magically change it on all 20 places which is awesome so moving forward, we need to get ourselves a reference to the pumpkin script. So I'm going to say here, pumpkin script is equal to pumpkin position dot game object dot get component. And we are going to get the pumpkin script. Now, what do we need from the pumpkin script? Well, we need this. We need to go into the pumpkin script. And here I'm going to create a public bool, which is going to be is alive. Now, this public boolean will automatically be visible in the inspector if i select the pumpkin here here it is we do not want that in order to remove it so we can simply go here and type create create what did i want to say square bracket and here we type hide in inspector which in terms of will hide it right here inside of the inspector panel so going back here in the awake function we do need to say is alive is equal to true because we need this to control if the pumpkin is alive or not if it touches the golem it will die if it falls down from the ground or the platform where we are standing it will also die so going back here into camera follow inside of the function that i'm, that I'm gonna create and call set position like this and here i'm gonna call it in the update so set position we are first gonna test if the pumpkin is alive so if pumpkin script that is alive so if the pumpkin is alive and in our pumpkin script so in the code right here when the pumpkin dies goes out of bounds we will set this is alive to be false and we will see that later on so if the pumpkin is alive currently then we are going to say vector 3 which is temporary position is equal to transform that position which is the current position of the camera so here transform position is the current position of the camera because this script is attached on the camera and what we want to do with it well we want to say temp dot y axis is equal to pumpkin position so pumpkin position dot position dot y plus the y distance so we are adding to the y position the y distance and temporary position dot z is equal to pumpkin position dot position dot z minus the z distance why minus well because if i go here in unity and let me just quickly select the camera let me zoom out and here is the main camera if i take it on the z axis and move it backwards it is going into the negative side on the z axis and that's why we are subtracting from the pumpkin z position the z distance that we set up here and the last thing that we need to do is we need to call the transform that position which is the position of the camera is equal to the temporary position which is this one right here that we have changed which will in terms now contain the new y position and the new z position let's try it out i'm gonna select the camera and hit run to see where it is so here it is and i think this is okay i think this is perfectly fine now the camera is tilting as you can see when the pumpkin is moving upright upright you see this upright this like tilting on the camera the reason for it is because our pumpkin is rotating if we go into the rigid body and for the constraints we freeze the x y and z position and when i hit the run button now notice our pumpkin is moving the camera is not tilting so this is pretty awesome but as i already said well actually i did not say it but i'm gonna say it now i am not gonna freeze the z rotation 
and the X and the Y rotation because I like it like that. But I just wanted to let you know in case you use this code, you're trying to make your own games and you're like, whoa, the camera is tilting. What is wrong? I'm going to kill myself. No. So this is the reason for it. Your camera is tilting because the pumpkin is rotating and that's the reason for it. Anyways, this was it. This is it for uh, this video, guys. I'm gonna see you in the next video where we are gonna continue with our game, of course. And bye bye, take care. Fahi here from awesometudes.com. And before I go, take a look at and explore the project, share it with your friends, enter the competition that I have created if you cannot back it otherwise. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.